right, coming in hot. Hey, pretty. I'm happy to have you back on my channel. Today, we're getting deeper into how you create a memorable in-store experience. Like we spoke about last week, this is the way you keep customers coming back and shopping with you instead of with their online options. But before we get started, I need you to repeat today's affirmation after me. My business is a magnet for my ideal clients. And we're attracting ideal clients by the boatload, okay? So let's get into it. First, I wanna talk about why the customer experience and interaction is so vital to the brick and mortar store experience. You may have heard some of this in the last episode, but in case you missed it, it's because this is what separates you from your competition. This directly influences how much your customer spends and whether or not they decide to shop with you again and again. This one piece can and will make or break your business. A loyal repeat customer that buys from you over and over reduces operating expenses because you do not have to pay to keep replacing them with new customers. And they spend far more than new customers. So get on this train. And you're probably asking, Farah, how do I elevate the customer experience and do it without seeming overbearing to the customer? And I got you, that's what I'm here for. Number one, and possibly the most important, you must create a culture within your store and train your team to create this memorable experience. This starts with you, and then it should bleed throughout your entire interview process and should be consistent. It should be a touch point with your team to ensure you're meeting your expectations when interacting with your clients. So many store owners focus on the tangible skills during an interview, and they ask questions like, have you operated a register before? What hours can you work? So on and so forth. But I want you to think a little bit differently. I challenge you to think a little bit deeper here. Role play during interviews to see how comfortable a potential candidate is connecting with strangers and how they can comfortably recommend additional pieces tied to the customer's wants and needs without it feeling sleazy. This should be completely conversational. And if done right, it'll create such a connection with your team and your team becomes the expert to your clients and they become the go-to anytime your client has a distinct need. Empower your associates so that they have a feeling of ownership within the store as well. Brainstorm with them to determine how you can elevate the experience. Can you add appointments to your offerings, VIP shopping events? Your team is on the front lines talking and interacting with your customers all day and they know exactly what the customer wants and needs. If you empower them and you involve them in innovation conversations, I guarantee you they will help elevate your brand to the next level. The next way to create a memorable customer experience in your store is to elevate your checkout experience. One reason people like shopping online so much is because of the convenience. They don't need to leave their couch or wait in a checkout line after they find what they want. So get as close as possible to that. There is so much POS technology nowadays that allows you to get away from the fixed register and take the checkout experience to the customer. There's even software that lets you scan what a customer takes into a fitting room, remove what they don't want, and add the rest to a virtual cart to pay when the customer is done trying on. The possibilities in 2021 and 2022 are really endless. Okay, next is loyalty. One of the best ways to understand your business is to analyze customers' buying habits. By doing this, you can personalize a reward system which prompts them to come back more frequently. And this is a two-way street, right? So you get more money and the customer is thrilled that they're getting a deal at one of their favorite retailers. Then you can take the analysis even further and see how certain promotions performed so you can make future campaigns even more successful. So think about this. It's the end of the season and you want to blow through inventory so you can order new stuff, right? You have a database of customers that have shown they love an early access sale. You send out an email blast and you sell through over 40% of your inventory before it's even open to the public. This is a powerful tool that you need to utilize. Also, use text blasting. Works even better than email nowadays. So I wanna get deeper into Omnichannel as well. We spoke about this last week, but let me talk real fast about how this contributes to an incredible customer experience. 
Think about this for a second. You're shopping at your house on your favorite retailer's website and you see a new sweater that you just have to have. It says it's available at your local store in your size and oh my God, you can now upload a picture of yourself to see how it fits on you. By providing your email address and enrolling in the loyalty program, you get an additional 10% off and you just purchase it, right? So you purchase it, it's ready for pickup in two hours. You get an email saying it's ready for pickup and you head on into the store. When you walk in, you're greeted by a sales associate who recognizes you and had your order ready to go. It, it was in hand, you know? They share your excitement in the sweater purchase and they ask you if you saw the new leather pants that would look amazing with it. Of course you have to try them on and you tell the sales associate and the sales associate says, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and apply the discount on the pants as well if you wanna add them today. You try them on, you love them, so of course you need them, right? She asks if you wanna charge the card on file and you can't believe how easy it is. Not only did you pick up your sweater, but you got an incredible pair of pants and you were in and out of the store in five minutes. Talk about convenience. Amazon has nothing on that. So this type of consistency across touch points is the seamless type of experience that you should aim to accomplish. And I know this involves technology and it can feel daunting, right? But find an expert and let them execute your vision. It may cost some money up front, but this will allow you to execute far more seamlessly and get to market faster than if you attempted to do it yourself. And you know, let's not even talk about the frustration this will save you from. This process will also skyrocket your conversions because people will be less inclined to abandon the purchase at any point. And lastly, we touched on this, but it deserves its own spotlight, it's technology. We've gotta embrace it, store owners. Customers are using their phones to do everything nowadays, and your business needs to be able to match consumer needs. In other words, be mobile friendly. <laughs> At a minimum, your website should be mobile friendly, but you can also consider an app or QR codes throughout your store. QR codes are cool because they can trigger so many different media responses, whether that be for customer education, promotions, or just for fun. This is a great tie into loyalty as it will prompt customers to come back more frequently. And make your store Instagrammable. Have areas in your store such as like a feature wall that makes customers want to stop and take a picture to post on social media. Ensure your brand name is prevalent in the feature and let your most loyal clients do some of the free marketing for you. Evolve with the times, people. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Drop some of the ways that you're innovating with the customer experience below. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe to keep up with all my future videos. I'll see y'all soon.